Bangalore, the capital of Karnataka, the state which had all 28 seats go to the polls today. It's fantastically interesting over here, being seen as a straight fight really between the BJP and the Congress, one of the few states where that's happening in the south of India, certainly in the south, the only state. But there's the Amati party as well, there's the Janata Dal Secular trying to hold on to its position in parliament. The answer is inside those ballot boxes right now, but we're going to have to wait another full month to know what's going to happen in the state. But there have been some fascinating battles. Three seats in Bangalore. The top contest, of course, possibly being between Nanda Nilakani of the Congress, Anand Kumar of the BJP. That's happening in Bangalore South and perhaps encapsulates that battle between the two big national parties. Nanda Nilakani, Infosys co-founder, former head of the Aadhaar Unique Identity Scheme, a technocrat billionaire who now wants to be the Member of Parliament for Bangalore South. His opponent, the BJP's Anand Kumar, has won five times in a row and is hoping to hit a sixer in Bangalore South. The sitting MP is counting on the voters here and the Narendra Modi factor to get him back into Parliament. Well, I think there's a great uh, desire for change and I think, uh, as you know, 18, 18 years of non-performance is uh, being, uh, you, know, you know, how people are reacting. They definitely want change. They want change at the centre. They want to end this paralysis of governance and uh, bring in a new government which will be decisive, stable and performing under the leadership of Narendra Modi. Mangalore Central also saw an ex-Infosys man seeking votes. V. Balakrishnan of the young Ahmadmi party, up against the two big national parties. People are looking for a change. I think that anger will be shown in the ballot boxes. Where, uh, the results will be very surprising in Bangalore Central. Uh, everybody has their own strengths. Uh, we have to, f you have to fight everyone. It is a war. It is a contest. Uh, I take each and every candidate very serious. Here in Bangalore Central, where the three major contestants are the first timers who are challenging the sitting MP uh, from BJP. However, the the very factor that the majority of a middle class population as well as almost 4 lakh minority voters in this particular constituency are going to be the key determinants in deciding the victory here. Balakrishnan's performance here would give an indication of the inroads made by AAP in Karnataka. The perception is that they had good support as shown by enrolments and donations in urban Bangalore which may have fallen to some extent after the party stepped away from the Delhi government. Bangalore North sees former BJP Chief Minister Sadanand Gowda, hoping he can defeat the Congress candidate Sina Rainaswamy, who got the ticket after a primary was held here. The regional Janata Dal Secular is also hoping to hold on to its presence in Parliament, with former Prime Minister H.D. Deve Gowda in Hassan and former Chief Minister H.D. Kumaraswamy in Chikbalapur in a tough fight with Union Minister Veera Pamoyli of the Congress. Shimoga is another interesting seat, with the BJP's prodigal son, former Chief Minister B.S. Yadurapa, taking on another former Chief Minister's daughter, Geeta Shivaraj Kumar of the JDS. She is the daughter of S. Bangarapa and daughter-in-law of the late matinee idol, Dr. Raj Kumar. The BJP won 19 out of 28 seats in Karnataka last time. But the Congress is now in power here, and the Karnataka unit is hoping to deliver some measure of relief from this state. And while the BJP attacks the Congress on the issue of corruption elsewhere in the country, in Karnataka, it is on the back foot, with many of its own leaders facing corruption charges. Karnataka is a state where it's being seen largely as a battle between the BJP and the Congress. The Congress formed the government in the state less than a year ago, but this is one state where people often vote differently at the Assembly and the Lok Sabha elections. And the BJP is hoping the Modi factor may have some role to play at the national level. Perhaps the contest here in Bangalore South, where technocrat billionaire from the Congress, Nanda Nilakani, is taking on Anand Kumar, five-time sitting MP from the BJP, is perhaps the best example of that contest between the two big national parties. With Sneha Koshi, Maya Sharma in Bangalore for NDTV.
So what will happen in the battle for Karnataka and the battle for Bangalore? Official figures still coming in, but it looks as if the figures for voting in Bangalore were less than spectacular. We're waiting for the final figures from the election commission, but we hope that the voters, the voter turnout was not as poor as it's possibly turning out to be right now. But there were some people at least who were excited to be voting. Now, you're a first-time voter, really. How important was it for you? Um, it was pretty important for me to vote, even though, even though we can say that they weren't many candidates that we could choose from any eligible candidates at least but um, the very fact that we can come out there and you know make a decision even even if you don't want to make a decision at all at least there's a note option available so I think you know I think it's a very important thing and everyone should definitely vote. Now you didn't get to vote because you're not registered here in Bangalore do you feel a little bit jealous looking at your other the other young people who managed to? Yes of course I feel jealous I'm waiting for my chance on the 12th back home so yeah, I think everyone should vote because it's a responsibility and yes, I, I am jealous of them. It is a responsibility, absolutely. How do you choose a candidate though? Uh, the candidate, uh, as in uh, if they're new, so if like they're apolitical people, then I would vote for them and give them a chance and otherwise if they're all from the political background, I think I should check their past records. So you would actually prefer somebody fresh, somebody from a non-political background? Yeah, sure. Like, you know, fresh ideas. So. Fresh ideas then, okay. And how would you choose a candidate? You, you're a first-time voter as well. Have you got your proud mark on that thumb? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do. And um, yeah, I think um, a lot of awareness programs in Bangalore and debates that were held by BPAC, um, that were very helpful because they brought out new faces like okay. V. Balakrishnan and people like that. Even though they're part of the AAP now, um, they're from a software background that has practically nothing to do with okay. politics. And... Um, the kind of ideas they came out with were new and I think they should get a chance to come out and try their hand at politics. So you also seem to prefer the candidates without a political background, like your... Yes, candidate. definitely. Uh, not necessarily. If they have a good run, I mean, okay. uh, people like Anand Kumar have been there over 18 years okay. and we definitely need new faces in places like that who can bring about change to those constituencies like South Bangalore. But um, otherwise, I think it's time for new faces. Absolutely. Now, you're not 18, but you're still a first-time voter. Yes, this is the first time. I know I missed out uh, okay. 10 to 12 All years. Right. So it's definitely voting. Voting is a very whenever you get your first chance. Over now to Harsha in Rajasthan, another state where voting was held today. Harsha, it's over to you. Yeah, thanks very much, Maya. Well, I'm here in Barmer, which is really one of the most watched contests in Rajasthan because um, BJP leader, former BJP leader Jaswan Singh has turned rebel and it's become a prestige battle that is Barmer in this desert landscape. Um, Personal loyalties are divided. Of course, there's been a very high voter turnout uh, in Barmer, but personal loyalties divided and the BJP throwing its weight behind its official candidate, Colonel Sonaram. So which way this contest is going to be, uh, will turn out is something that's going to be closely watched here in Rajasthan. In the battle for Barmer, former BJP leader turned rebel Jaswan Singh, leading from the front. In his native village in Barmer, as he came out to vote, he was accompanied by his son Manvendra Singh, recently suspended from the BJP for supporting his father. Though Manvendra never went out campaigning with his father, the BJP alleged he had been indulging in anti-party activities. And clearly it's a relationship that has now turned deeply bitter. And how are you looking at this battle and how are you putting it? Is, it is a demonstration of public wrath against bad decision making by the center and the state and it of course demonstrates how mature and learned the public is. Manvendra Singh has so far refused to comment on his exit from the BJP. He is sitting MLA from Shiv in Barmer and was the BJP's Lok Sabha candidate for this very seat three times in the past. Manvendra Singh ji, how are you looking at this election? Jai Nagana Rai. <laughs> Jaswan Singh's battle may be with his former party and one-time protege Vasundhra Rajay. But here in Barmer, the face-off is with Colonel Sonaram. Sonaram was with the Congress till a month ago. He crossed over to the BJP and became the party's candidate from Barmer. I and in this high-stakes contest with temperatures already touching 40 degrees, the desert landscape is sizzling. But despite the heat and encouraging water turnout.
Well, and I have with me a number of voters who have actually been responsible for that very high voter turnout. Uh, the women who came in behind their veil and came in and uh, voted. क्या क्या मुद्दे हैं यहाँ पे आप लोग क्या चाहते हो? हमारे तो सारे गांवर में कोई वर्ष तो नहीं है. देखो पौनी नहीं है. नहीं है मार कोई मजूरी बिजी कोई नहीं खोले कोई देखो आप रोड़ा है बिजा करनी है अलग कोई देखो कोई लाइट है करनी क्या होता है आईडी में आईडी में तो लाइट दी तो लाइट है पंद्रह सौ रुपया हर महीने पंद्रह सौ आठ सौ कैसे पैसा आ रही है सो एस यू हर्ड हर सेइंग दैट व्हाट दे वांट इज also some kind of employment they she talked about not having roads and the need for water but what has been the response to jaswant singh uh, i have with me a young man here aap kahan se aaye hain vote dalne main pune se aaya hu madam aur wo jaswant singh ko ticket nahi dene ke karan se main yahan pe aaya tha aur ye jaswant singh ki lehar chal rahi barmer jaisalmer ke andar to jaswant singh ko ticket nahi dene ke karan aap kyu aaye yahan pe aapko kya laga हमारे को ऐसे लगा जो वो बीजेपी को जसवंत सिंह ने अंगुली पकड़ के सीखे है लेकिन वो जसवंत सिंह का टिकट खराब किया है वो गलत किया था इसके लिए हम पूना से यहाँ से वोट देने के लिए राजस्थान में आए हुए हैं so as you can see a, a prestige issue what he said was he that it that it's a prestige battle the fact that somebody who founded the party uh, was not given a ticket now this is a kind of feeling that we uh, meet when we go across barmer a lot of people taking it as a personal insult of course there are other issues also i have with me the sarpanch of this village kya mudde hai is gaon mein hamar gaon ka mudda hai ye hai ki hamar school ke liye koi vyavastha nahi hai pani ke liye koi vyavastha nahi hai aur master ke liye koi vyavastha nahi hai hum barmer jile ke andar hai hamara gram panchayat mehnagar sabse piyo gram se pichhda hua hai तो हमारी बहुत बिल्कुल हमारे साथ कुछ भी समाज मतलब ग्राम पंचायत की व्यवस्था नहीं है तो लड़कियों के लिए स्कूल होना जरूरी है क्योंकि यहाँ पे आप लोग लड़कियों को भेजते नहीं है पढ़ाने के लिए बिल्कुल भेजते हैं सर हमारी स्कूल की व्यवस्था नहीं पे क्या भेजेंगे सो सो व्हाट दे सेइंग इज दैट यू नो द नीड फॉर अ स्कूल बिकॉज as you know rajasthan is one of the states which has the highest uh, drop out rate for girls who drop out of school after class 8 so a number of issues that they are raising of course along with that you saw the kind of sympathy vote that there is for uh, jaswant singh but will it translate into votes that's what we are going to be looking out for well as far as western maharashtra is concerned it's a very crucial elections because just 6 months down the line we have assembly elections so it's a question of survival for the ncp for the congress who seem to be losing base in their stronghold western maharashtra sushil kumar shinde sarkar yasule tehri ncp and congress the biggest challenge in the stronghold of western maharashtra for years sharad pawar nursed the region by controlling sugar mills and cooperative banks but with the anti government at the center and the state it's now a matter of survival for his party we have been fighting elections for over 6 decades now and every election the issues remain the same it's water it's good roads it's infrastructure it's development i won't say that in my constituency as yes, in my constituency in pockets water is an issue because we've had serious famine in the last 3 years because people now want like they now ask me for schools they ask for e governance in all the schools in the 2009 elections the ruling alliance had won 7 out of the 10 seats while the shiv sena could get only 2 but ncp leader ajit pawar's crude statement during a terrible drought mockingly asking farmers if he should urinate to fill dry dams not forgiven now there is a rule of ajit pawar and uh, supriya sule is a good uh, woman but she is a ghost candi candidate the whole administration is run by ajit pawar <coughs> but <coughs> uh, his his style of function is uh, functioning is anti democratic hukum uh, shahi style ab 2006 ko bhi bole the ki aap पानी देंगे लोगों को ये इस बाव इस गाँव है जो भी उसको पानी देंगे लेकिन अभी तक पानी नहीं दिया इन मराठवाड़ा आदर्श स्कैम अक्यूज एंड कांग्रेस लीडर अशोक चवान फेस द पीपल तो फैसला आज जनता के हाथ में आज का दिन जनता का दिन है जो आके फैसला करें चार्जेस ऑफ करप्शन अ सीबीआई केस ऑल स्टिल नॉट इनफ टू डिटर हिज वोटर्स 
नांदेड़ में इतने सालों से चौहान साहब ही है पर यहाँ उतनी डेवलपमेंट नहीं देखी गई है अशोक राव साहब को इसमें टिकट मिलना ही जरूरी था उन्होंने अभी पहले स्टेट में थे अभी सेंट्रल में गए हैं और नांदेड़ का विकास होने वाला है और अशोक राव चौहान साहब को फंसाया गया है इसमें मुख्यमंत्री पद पे थे उनको बड़ी का बकरा बना दिया गया वाला है इसके वजह से चले गया वाला उनका लेकिन आने वाले दिनों में और अच्छे दिन आएंगे और मंत्री बनेंगे उन्होंने और नांदेड़ का विकास करेंगे पर इमेज तो बिगड़ी गई होगी Victory her in Nanded would cement Savan's resurrection and pave his return to Maharashtra politics. May 16th will decide Ashok Chauhan's fate, but after all the hue and cry about electing clean candidates, it seems the corruption charges against Ashok Chauhan haven't made much of a difference to the people here. With camera person Suhas Chaudhary in Nanded, Tejas Mehta for NDTV. Well, let me tell you, as I said, as we have shown in this report, this is a very crucial election for the NCP and the Congress because in Western Maharashtra, what we have seen is that a formidable force, an alliance, has been formed with BJP, Shiv Sena, RPI, and the Swabhimani Shetkari Sangatna. So, will they be giving a tough fight to the Congress and the NCP? Well, I have with me a whole lot of NCP supporters here, and let's hear from them. Do you think that this time around you are going to face lot of uh, uh, competition from the? opposition parties yeah sure this time we had a very tough time because people asking why they alliance each other there is facing lot of problem but logon ki jo thi buzurg log kyunki log samajh sake kafi log gharon ke bahar aaye jinko saans bhi lene mein problem thi aaj logo itni awareness aa gayi hai bachcho mein buddho mein bado mein ki nahi humne vote dena hai aur mujhe ummeed hai logon ne face to bahut kiya problem I think, but uh, this is voting बहुत अच्छी 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 वोटिंग हुई है न तो मैं आपसे पूछना चाहूंगा आप एनसीपी के समर्थक है बहुत सारे लोगों का कहना है की इस बार का चुनाव एनसीपी के लिए और कांग्रेस के लिए दिक्कत का जाने वाला है क्योंकि लोग एक बदलाव चाहते है क्या आप सहमत है एनसीपी के सपोर्टर होने के बावजूद नहीं मुझे तो ऐसा कुछ लगता नहीं है लोग एनसीपी और कांग्रेस अलायंस को ही वोट देंगे आपकी मानती है और क्या वजह मानती है अगर ऐसा बिल्कुल Uh, मेरे वोट तो एनसीपी का है इसलिए मैंने जो काम किया लोग काम के ऊपर वोट करते हैं और मुझे विश्वास है कि जो मैंने दो साल में काम किया उसके ही बल पे मेरे एनसीपी मेरे वार्ड में आएगी ओके सो एनसीपी सपोर्टर्स यर आर वेरी कॉन्फिडेंट दे से दैट कांग्रेस एंड द एनसीपी विल विन दिस टाइम अराउंड ऑल्सो द रिजल्ट विल कम ओनली ऑन सिक्सटीन में जस्ट वन मंथ फ्रॉम नाउ सो यर वी हैव एनसीपी सपोर्टर्स बट देर आर लॉट many election related stories that is coming up by my colleagues monidipa banerjee and uh, and archal just after a short break